Surround view camera is part of the parking assist system. It displays the immediate surroundings of some or all sides of the vehicle while stopped or during low speed maneuvers. Joel, will you tell us a little bit about these systems? Sure, this is a pretty cool system. What it's gonna do is utilize four cameras. We have one in the front, one in the rear, and one on each side of your mirror here. What they're gonna do is they're gonna each grab an image from each side of the vehicle, and the car's computer will stitch it together to create a full 360 degree view. What that allows us to do is just kind of see lane lines while we're pulling into a parking spot, or see things in front or behind our vehicles we're pulling forward or backing up. Oh, I did notice you said four cameras. And so I always have customers asking me about the, the fifth camera, the one from the top looking down. Is that actually an additional camera? Kind of a misconception. It's not actually a camera, but what we're doing is we're taking an image of the vehicle, sometimes even color matched so it looks like the exact same vehicle. We're gonna to stitch together all four of those cameras to create a seamless 360 degree view. Okay, so you say like this mirror here for us, like in our shop, like we've had a lot of experiences, right? Where we're, we're, we're fixing and, and painting the fender, blending into the door, we pull this mirror off and now we got different types of calibrations. Yeah, so depending on the OEM and what they call for, they're gonna have different calibrations. We always wanna go through and read the OEM specifications and see, hey, does this need a calibration or not? Most likely it will. So what happens is say we remove this to do the blend job, we're gonna put the same mirror back on, it's still gonna need a calibration because we moved it from its original spot. So if you did put it back in place, it, the image might be off, things won't look correct. And we got so many different types of calibrations, right? We got dynamic and static and different targets and, and mats. Yeah, so this, this car uses a static calibration, so we're gonna have mats that'll calibrate the system. But there are other cars that are dynamic where you just drive them around and they kind of self-calibrate themselves. And even within the same manufacturer, you might have two different models that one is a static calibration, one's a dynamic calibration. Which is why it's so important to read the OEM repair procedures. It's, it's very important to read those procedures and make sure we follow them correctly to make sure the car is returned back to stock and as good as it was when it left the factory. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by SCRS. If you aren't currently a member, I encourage you to join. Visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.